Hey guys, Aris, Hardware Busters International. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. We need a bigger audience. So, uh, we have the chroma stations, they are here. Uh, please show them all this stuff. They look like an airstrip. Yeah. Show them the exit. These are the three chroma stations. These are only three? Yes. All these crates are only for three. And we have six in total. Uh, the other three are in the lab in Greece. Uh, we're working on them. We cannot uh, take them out. Yeah, the lights on. So today we're making uh, at least one. Uh, Maybe not even one. <laughs> yes, it is kind of difficult when you don't have uh, the rack in front of you to replicate it. But okay, we're moving forward. Uh, from now on quite fast, I want to think of. So, we have installed three main frames, uh, 400 watt uh, load each. Uh, this is a double load, uh, two uh, by 100 watt load. This is for five USB, uh, 12 volt rails, 12 volt one, 12 volt rail uh, two, uh, five volt and 3.3 volt uh, power analyzer, AC source, we have to install the oscilloscopes as well, 4x4 four four. Uh, picoscopes are not available yet, uh, we have ordered them about 5 months ago, 6 months ago and still they are uh, out of stock, I hope they will be, uh, they, will, they will arrive anytime soon because we really need them, AC source, 4000 uh, watt. AC source. It's a powerful AC source from APM Electronics. It's a new brand. Uh, we usually have uh, chroma AC sources, key side, but with key side we have a problem. So we switched, we had to switch and we got uh, this AC source. It's a state of the art AC source. And we have a one uh, by one. One to one, I don't know how it's spelled in English. Uh, transformer, one to one transformer, and a powerful UPS. Just in case. Yeah, it goes like this wall socket, transformer, UPS, AC source. And the AC source powers the power supply. We use the AC source to power the power supply. But the AC sources output goes through the power analyzer to have the to get the efficiency readings. The fixture here. Let me show you that. It's our own design, the fixture, and it supports both ATX uh, 12 volt only and the normal ATX. 12 volt, uh, it takes 12 volt is used with the minor rails. It has a 12 pin connector for the uh, PCI Express 5. We don't need the plus 4 pins in our fixture, uh, these are sense pins, we don't need to use them. Uh, this is the 10 pin, the ATX 10 pin, 24 pin ATX and all the other. PCI Express 6 plus 2, EPS 8 pin, uh, Molex and the capacitors for transient testing. The oscilloscope, uh, we have all signals output here and we connect the BNC probes going to the oscilloscope here. This is used for uh, over the voltage uh, protection evaluation. We connect a uh, bench power supply here. So this is the fixture. So how long do you think it's going to take to build all three uh, chroma stations that we have? Here? We have. Uh, the problem is the first one, okay? Yeah, the problem is the first. Always the first one. We have to install the PCs uh, with the software because the software is uh, also needs 
tuning according to the comma. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it doesn't now? take long. Huh? Do it now. I mean, this, this days. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm. We we'll have to do it. Yeah. Thick chroma stations, and uh, this is a complete uh, AT system. AT. Automatic oh. testing environment system. We don't use the chroma. 8000 uh, system because it forces you to only use chroma uh, products we don't want to use chroma products we want to use the best products in each category okay chroma has very good electronic loads but uh, all the other stuff that they have okay and ac sources are okay but all the other stuff they have uh, the power analyzer the scope things and all that i don't like them so much especially the power analyzer is not uh, that accurate uh, we use higher uh, accuracy power analyzers now we have one from uh, Rodgers Vans. we also use stuff from n4l n4l they are okay they are great but they are super expensive and now with the brexit we have a problem importing uh, their products in the eu yeah this brexit uh, anyway how about compatibility compatibility though i mean okay you take different kind of uh... faganas the program that we use uh, manages to combine all instruments together and there is no problems in compatibility so you cannot do it unless you have faganas yeah how else uh, you can combine all the stuff together uh, the chroma software which is not versatile at all uh, only works with chroma hardware they force you to use chroma hardware faganas yeah, you but can how have good, how good is their software i mean can you do the same stuff you can do no with Havana's? no because you mentioned that you want the best equipment okay that's one thing but if you want to take measurements uh, the, it... their software can do a lot of uh, lots of stuff but uh, not as many as faganas and the thing is that when you need something changed you have to ask chroma and i will tell you one story i had a problem with uh, faganas and i wanted uh, the chroma api api and uh, I emailed them after I have bought three chroma stations and paid almost 300,000 uh, euros to them. And I say, hey guys, I need some help. Your API is uh, in this language. I want you to help me uh, convert it to this language or give me some, gui some guidelines on how uh, basically the library for this uh, chroma uh, loads that was not available, so I didn't know the exact commands that I had to use, and uh, they never replied to me. Good. They never replied to me. So imagine, imagine if you ask for such simple things and uh, they don't even reply. Imagine if you want something <laughs> more advanced. Anyway, uh, these guys built uh, terrific loads. Uh, they are very good. Almost, almost bulletproof. Okay, almost. Uh, but nothing these days is bulletproof, okay, especially in, in electronics. Uh, the thing is that I don't want to use chroma uh, AC source or a chroma power analyzer. I want to use something else. And to do that, you have to use your own software. So anyway, it matters as far as it gets for the uh, measurements that you get? Is it, I mean, I mean the, uh, the uh, chroma power analyzer is not as accurate as. And so for it does else. matter. Yeah, it does matter. And uh, also, for men 4 l I have full support. If we, if I want it calibrated, I send it to these guys. They will calibrate it against. Right, uh, you have to calibrate it before, yeah, right? against the specific ISO. They can set it back to be uh, traceable calibration and all this stuff. And I don't have this uh, messy environment to work with uh, Chroma software. Their software is it's stable. I want to build my own thing with the cross loads. My software is able to can uh, generate thousands of possible load combinations and do it automatically. And all this stuff, calculate noise automatically, extract results in every form I want. It's HTML. It's custom tailored to my needs alone. And this is what matters the most. Anyway, we will do a video once we have this thing up and running we have many more equipment to deal with especially the fan testing the long wind fan testing machine this will be difficult but first we have to do the chromas okay 
If you have any questions uh, on the commas, I know, or PSG testing in general, I would like to hear them. Uh, Discord server, also please uh, enable the notifications to get notified first when uh, we have a new video posted. Uh, Patreon page, if you want to support us, I don't know. Anything else? You have anything else to ask? I'm, I'm just waiting to see them finished. You know. Me too, me too. And working. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.